All right, Brock Atta Yahweh, Brock Atta Yahweh Shai, Brock Atta Yahweh, Brock Atta Yahweh Shai, Brock Atta Yahweh, Brock Atta Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. All right. It says, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. So, you know, the job is to fight. You know, the title, title of this lesson would be fight the good fight of faith. Our job is to fight. You know, we're warriors first spiritually, all right, mentally. And then eventually when the Lord give us that power, we're going to be physically super strong, man. You know, we're asking the Lord to uh, renew our strength. You know, make us make us as a battle axe and a weapon of war. Make us to be righteous. Make us to be perfect. So in order for the Lord to do these things, we have to go through this fiery trial. Okay? We have to walk through the straight gate. Okay, and that path is narrow, you know, fire on the left, water on the right. It's all about walking the straight gate and fighting the good fight. There's no way you can climb up some other way. Okay, this is truly, this truth of ours is truly, you know, based upon faith. All right, and it's going to show forth uh, the faith which you see, you know, men of the Lord. The prophets, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And you see these brothers out there faithfully in season, out of season. That's showing great faith. All right. But we're really going to see the true faith of the Lord when we're battle tested. Okay. When we get put through those fiery trials. You know. Which is the times we're approaching. Because we have Jacob's trouble approaching. We have the, you know, martial law. To sedition among men. A famine of the word, famine of food and water. All right, it's important for us brothers who, who are in the faith, to continue to keep striving for righteousness. Okay, keep continuing to fight the good fight because it's needed. It's needed. Uh, I'm gonna read 11 again. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness. So the important thing is to follow after righteousness. How do you follow after righteousness? First off, you have to seek the Lord. You have to have faith in the Most High. Another, the next thing is knowing his name, knowing who you are, all right, as a nation, as a nationality, excuse me, as a nationality. The Bible is based off nationality, all right? The Lord have chosen him one seed, okay, which is from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob. He never chose any other nation. The next thing is that you have to learn the word. You got to follow the teachers, follow the prophets, okay? Because the Lord has truly set them up to teach this truth. There's only one way in order to be saved, and that's walking through the straight gate, you know? And uh, for women that are listening, those of the whole four elect, you know, your, your job is to work on yourself, you know? Your job is to clean up your act, same as well as the men. Your lot is different. Your lot is to... Get in that body, which is getting un getting in order under your husband, okay, which is a man of the Lord, all right? And if you have a man already, because there are different situations, and you believe, but your husband don't believe, well, that's cool. Keep striving in righteousness, man, okay? Keep learning the word, all right? Anyway, it says, uh, for the love, excuse me, but thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness. We know that the world today is based around Satan. Everything is sinister, okay? Everyone that uh, plays a part in this world, in the fashion of this world, they are Satan. So our job is to do what? Follow after godliness. What is godliness? Godliness 
is praising Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Godliness is how you manage yourself and conduct yourself in this world. And especially this time we're living in. Godliness is rehearsing and rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. Alright? It says faith, because that's key. Love, love your brethren, those who are in the truth. Patience. Patience means to suffer. Meekness, which is very another one important to be humble. Alright? No matter what, no matter how old we are, no matter how young we are, we have to show for meekness, which is humbleness. Okay? It says, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life. So we want to grab hold on that eternal life. All right? We want to grab hold onto the scriptures. Make it be a part of us. The scriptures say, he told Ezekiel to eat the robe. Meaning we have, he had to eat the word. He had to learn the word. You know? And we're all a learning. And it's, it's, it's time... Right now, we're still living in the time of repentance. We're still living in the time for the Lord to seal the elect. Scriptures say it was our minds to go astray, seek the Lord ten times more. All right, so you have to fight the good fight despite all of the temptation, all of the uh, situations you're pressed against or you're put through. You have to endure and fight the good fight. Okay, it's a good fight. You know, it's just like one of those, well, recently we had the fight with, uh, they said that was a classical fight with uh, Earl Spence and Sean Porter. You know, they was both neck to neck. Well, this this fight, okay, is going to lead to our what? Salvation. Eternal life, man. Receiving new bodies, being a ruler, a judge, all right, over nations of people, man. All right, being being the elite, you know, that's, 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 uh, you know, what, what every heart should wish for instead of having the crumbs upon the wicked table in which Jacob eat today, man. So anyway, it says fight the good fight of faith. Because why? Your faith is going to be tested. Your faith is going to be, uh, Satan is going to uh, test your faith. You know, he's going to uh, mess with you so that, you know, you will lose faith. You lack faith. And that ain't what's needed. We, we need to do... Uh, uh, <laughs> We need our faith to increase. All right. It says, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. And these are the brothers that are in the truth. All right. Before many witnesses, we stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know, and prophesied, you know, spoke the gospel, defended the gospel, pushed the truth, man. You know, we're telling you guys, all right, that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. We're not asking you. We're not debating you. We're telling you because we know. And how do we know? First off, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and his word. And also, it's, t it's evident. All right? It's evident if you know who your enemy is, if you understand the plans of your enemies. If you understand what that device actually does to the body. It's, it's without a shadow of a doubt. All right, let me read that again. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, because we were called in this truth. You know, this is a beautiful thing to be called. The scriptures say, make thou calling and election sure. So, make your calling, okay, because you was called, make thou calling and election sure. You want your seat, your, your, your you know, you want your lot, when, you know, that the Lord appointed you to. Okay, when he called you in his truth, you want to make that election sure. All right. Scriptures say many of uh, 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 scriptures say um, uh, many are called, but few are chosen. You know, we hope to be the chosen. We're not looking to fall, man. It says, um, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, because the world is witnesses to our profession. All right. To Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, being the prophets, okay, the seers. Verse 13 I gave thee charge in the sight of Yahweh, who quickeneth all things. So we're not lacking anything, you know, fight the good fight. You know, if you, you know, you're down, you're feeling some type of way, you're going through shit, you gotta pray. It's all about fighting. You gotta fight, man. Stay in order, stay in line. You know, that's the most important thing is staying in the body. You get kicked from the body, you still got to fight. 
but it's going to be a lot more harder because you don't got the love of the brethren around you. You don't have the crutch, you know. But guess what? If you stay in line and do what it's appointed for you to do, continue to fight that good fight, you're going to take hold of that eternal life that's going to be pro that's promised to us. All right. It says, I give thee charge in the sight of Yahweh, who quickeneth all things. And before Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession. Because even our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, he didn't bow down, okay, to Pontius Pilate. You know, he wasn't, uh, 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 you know, being a bitch, so to say. You know, he spoke to Pilate as, as a Lord, you know, and didn't, uh, you know, say anything to to bring, uh, let's say, to bring evil upon himself. You know, he spoke as a man. He spoke, well, he was in the flesh, but he spoke as our Lord, who was willing to give his body as a living sacrifice, man. And with the Lord's example, by doing that, should give you great faith. You know, the Yahweh Shai gave his life. He spilled his blood for that ultimate sacrifice for us to make it back to the Most High, for us to see the kingdom, to fulfill the, uh, the, the, the Heavenly Father's word and receiving the covenant and the promises, man. Okay? Because that new covenant, all right, will the Lord take out the stony heart and, and give us that, that heart of flesh, you know, to where we perfect, we be gods, man. Scriptures say we are gods, all right, to the other nations. And uh, one thing about a god, he must know what? Good and evil. And he must have mastered it, man. Okay? And that's how the Lord is going to do for us. He's going to quicken us in our flesh. He's going to quicken our spirits. All right? To make the flesh and the spirit as one. So just know that we have a job to do. And that job is to take hold of eternal life. You have to, you know, when they say when you're working out, uh, I mean, when you're playing sports and you want to get that championship, you got to go out there and get it. So in this truth, we got to work to get it. You got to go out there and take hold of it. You got to want it. You know, you're not going to win a championship if you don't work hard, you know. And if you don't got a respectable team to play their position, you can't win. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player that ever played the game. All right. You know, and that's, you know, an argument for, for, for folks. But anyway, we all know MJ was the best. MJ couldn't win those rings unless he had his players in position to play their part. We all got a lot. We all speak the oracles of the Most High what is given to us. We all play that position, you know, because Yahweh Shai is the body, and we're the, mem we're the body, we're the members of the body, okay, so to say. All right. So um, it says uh, that thou, uh, like it, verse thirteen. I give thee charge in the sight of Yahweh, who quickeneth all things, and before Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who be, who before Pontius Pilate witness a good confession that that thou keep this commandment without spot unrebukable until the until the appearing of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach so the job is you know to be unrebukable you know now we all fall short of the glory so we go off we make mistakes and yes some of us brothers we get rebuked all right but the rebuke is all out of love we don't want to get rebuked by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, it's better off you get rebuked by the man of the Lord than to get rebuked by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai because, you know, that's the most high is dramatic. You know, very dramatic, you know. But, you know, our job is to uh, be unspotted. And that, also, that means by teaching the truth, you know, living the truth. You got camps, you got other different Israelite camps out here that are teaching false doctrines still to this day in 2019, as if the warning ain't been out there set before you, as if the scriptures and the lessons are not there for you to teach the right thing. You know, there's a lot of pride going on, a lot of arrogancy, okay, a lot of, uh, yeah, pride, man, because that's really what it is. And the Most High have set certain men up for a great fall, man. You know, that's why it's good to be meek, to be meek, to be humble, all right? That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. I wanted to make it short. I want to keep it too long. A few verses here in 1 Timothy 6. 
But um, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.